Hello and welcome to my workshop. My name is John. Tonight I'm going to be showing you a video on how to create and display transparent background images for your Pinnacle Movie Studio software. Uh, what you're seeing here now is, is my Pinnacle software. I've got a, a video there on the top row of a radio that I recently restored. And what I want to do is take this, which is a title track, and um, I'm having trouble with my screen capture software is messing with my memory. You should just be able to double click on that screen title and it should pop up the editing window, but I have to go through all this to get to the edit window. And there we go. And now you can edit. Um, technically, that black screen area, you should be able to see the video through that. But again, my screen capture uh, equipment uh, software kind of messing with my memory so you can't see the video but on yours you will be able to see your video and um, you just put I do what I did I just put that arrow from my collection of different transparent TIF images I put that arrow in the title track so it kind of overlays my um, radio video and you can see I put it right in the middle there's no background to it let me show you how I create a um, an image for that. It has to be a PNG or TIFF image to start with. This is a vehicle I'm selling and um, I've got a few pictures of it. So what I'm going to do is turn this into a transparent background image. Um, what I'm doing here now just making it a lot smaller so it's easier to work with. Um, I, if, you, if you're familiar with Paint Shop Pro, this is Paint Shop Pro 5. I've had it for a long long time, probably 15 years and I will keep it forever because by golly it was expensive when I bought it and now I'm not buying anything else. Um, you need to create a new layer. Um, you know how to do that. I work with your software to get a second layer. I'm going to color that second layer a bright green so that as I erase parts of the top layer the bright green will show through and I'll know what has been erased. Um, I'm going to make my brush a little bit bigger. <coughs> Excuse me. What I want to do is get rid of as much of this extraneous stuff around the car as I, as I can. <coughs> the idea here is uh, just to get everything out of the picture but the car on this particular layer. And we are working on the top layer now. You can see the bottom layer, the green coming through as I erase. It kind of helps guide me on uh, where I need to go. I got all the, the uh, perimeter done, got all the heavy stuff done. So I'm going to uh, get in a little closer. I'm going to make my brush a little bit smaller, a little finer. And uh, you can see the settings on my control box there. Um, that's what you use for Paint Shop Pro 5. I don't know about any other programs that you use. You just have to play around with the control, control settings to get your good uh, eraser brush. You can see the stuff right there up toward the top. The, the big heavy brush didn't really get all that stuff. So we're going to have a bunch of extraneous stuff floating around in the green area that we really don't want there. But uh, when you get up close to the car and you make your brush a lot um, smaller, it does a much finer job and it gets all the pixels out of there. I'd say within about a half, what you're looking at, in a, with about a, within about a half inch around the perimeter of the car itself. It's going to be absolutely clean. So, and that's what we want. I'm going to take a selection tool and just select within that half inch around the car so that I'm not going to be picking up a lot of the extraneous stuff that's out around the edges there. So cleaning, 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 very good. I apologize for the length of this video, um, but um, it might help some people to understand what it means to add a selection to an alpha channel on your um, image and that's what we have to do in order to make this transparent on on pinnacle software um, first we have to come up with the selection to make transparent so and that's what that's what I'm doing right now I'm just getting rid of everything I don't want to see when I show this on my film in pinnacle and I pretty much have almost finished here um, so what I want to do is take a look and see where I'm at if I select all and then come down and hit the float and then defloat and then um, you see I got a bunch of extraneous stuff all around the car uh, so I want to get rid of it. I'm going to select none 
I'm going to grab my selection tool and I'm going to select within that half inch area that's really clean just around the car. There on the top there I kind of cut the car off a little bit, not a problem. We're going to go back in a minute and add that again. There around the left front fender you can see I missed some stuff. I'm just now recognizing that so I'm going to go back and get my um, well first I'm going to add that and when you want to add to the selection just move your cursor up there hit the shift button and you'll see a little plus sign next to your um, little mouse and it will let you add any any part of the picture onto that current selection that you want to add onto. Got my racer back out and I'm just cleaning up that car a little bit around the left front fender. So I've got my selection pretty much where I want it. Now I'm going to go up and hit the float and I'm going to go back to select and hit the defloat. And I'm going to go back up one more time, hit defloat again, and or float, and see what happens. It drew that selection right to the car, exactly where I wanted it at. Uh, no more and no less than the exact um, car that I want to see in my picture. So now, um, what I want to do is I'm just going to copy that image. I'll get rid of this nasty one because it's got a bunch of crap in it. This layer has only the car in it. No extraneous stuff anywhere around it. Um, I do need to create a second layer so I can give it a background image. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to drag that second layer down to the bottom. I'm going to give it a, a distinctive color that's different uh, than the car. Of course, the green is going to work fine here. Now I want to um, reselect. I want to get my selection back. So I'm going to select all because remember now this is a clean layer. Now I'm going to hit float, and that's going to give me a very good selection right around the car. Uh, I want to save that selection. Go to the selection menu, hit save to alpha channel, and that saves that selection to um, an area of the image itself. So that's actually going to be inside the image, and Pinnacle will be able to recognize that selection when it sees this picture. Now we're going to save it. We can save this as a PNG file or we can save it as a TIF file. I found that TIF files work best for Pinnacle. In fact, I don't even know, if, I don't think I've ever even tried PNG. Um, maybe, I don't know. Give it a shot, see what you think. I'm saving this one as a TIF file and um, the selection information is saved to the alpha channel. And so once that's saved, of course I'm looking for a director where I can save it to that I will remember where it is. The older I get, the less memory I have. So let's save. And you know, you can see that I'm having trouble here because the screen capture program is messing up my memory. I should be able to just double click on these folders, but I can't because it won't let me. Uh, but anyway, um, got her done, got her saved. Now we're going to go back to Pinnacle, back to my video. I'm going to open up that um, title track right there. I'm going to edit that. I want to get rid of that um, right there. I'm going to cut that arrow out of there. Now I want to go find photos and I want to find the directory where I saved um, that car photo. Take me a minute here to evoke my memory. And um, Finding real quickly when you run the screen capture program, uh, things don't work as quickly as you'd like them to. Okay, and you know the title track. I'm in the edit screen for this title track. It's uh, it's messing up my memory. The picture of the car comes up as a question mark, and the black screen is supposed to be my video showing behind the car. When uh, you don't have screen capture going, that's how it's, it'll work fine on your computer. Just um, just trust me that it's the screen capture that's messing mine up. So now I've got the car in the title track and we're going to move along and you can see the car now in front of the radio. Uh, of course my video of the radio is a little shaky but the car is very steady as it's in that one spot right where I put it. Um, just to the left of my thumb or finger or whatever that is. And um, so I want to go back and I want to edit that again. I want to make the car bigger so we can see it better. And uh, close it out. Again, you should have been able to see that red radio behind the picture of the car. Uh, we're going to play this again. There's the car. Um, right in the middle over the radio. Pretty big and fancy. No background to it. It's completely transparent. 
And uh, anyway, this, friends, ladies, gentlemen, is how you make a transparent GIF yeah, or a transparent um, background image in a TIF format that um, will work with your Pinnacle uh, movie recording software. Um, if you have any questions, just please feel free to write them down here. I'll, I'll try to answer anything I can. I'm not an expert, but like I have been working with PaintShop Pro since I bought it like in 1994. So I'm pretty good with this and I'm fairly decent with Pinnacle, uh, so I should be able to help. Okay, so enjoy your night, day, morning, whatever you got there.